Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you my code to simulate a tunable capacitor uh, on the nanoscale using ther thermal, uh, thermal actuator. Okay, so let's go through the main idea. Now this code is based on this uh, reference paper, so let's let's take a look on it. Now here is here is the paper. Okay, so it is a uh, I mean the tunable capacitor using electrothermal actuator. So the main idea is that you have a, a capacitor, okay, like a normal one, may, uh, may, made on um, the nanoscale. And in order to increase the surface area, to increase the capacitance, uh, the, the surface is made as trenches, okay, as uh, cells of, of, uh, of depth. So you have like a surface which uh, uh, just goes up and down inside the trenches in order to increase the surface. Okay, so then yeah, like this one, you have uh, this. Every one is a trench to increase the surface area, and you make all this trench inside uh, a coil. Okay, a wire. Uh, this wire frame is then connected to two nodes, uh, which you can apply voltage on. Now, when you do apply voltage on such a coil, you have a thermal effect due to the resistance of this coil. Of course, it is made of a high resistance material. And then this increase in temperature, increase the temperature of the whole uh, body, inner, uh, uh, the whole surface of this uh, capacitor. So we can say that the coil is like here around this area. So when you increase the temperature, yes, like this, and you increase the temperature, what happens is that you change the dielectric constant of the dielectric materials you use between the two capacitors uh, layer. Okay, we know that the capacitor is just two uh, metals or two uh, conductors, and between them there is a dielectric. Okay, so you have trenches to increase the surface area, and then you have this coil with the two. Uh, you have voltage node, when you apply the voltage you uh, increase the temperature of course by the resistance of this wire so you, you, what you do is that you change the dielectric or, uh, constant of the dielectric material and from here you change the capacitance okay so this is a tunable uh, actually this is uh, very accurately tunable capacitor using uh, the applied voltage now, and here you can see the experimental results in the, uh, yeah, in the dielectric. So you can see that this dielectric has a uh, variable dielectric constant a lot, uh, as a function of the temperature. Okay. Now let's get to the MATLAB code. This code just simulates this device and give you how it will behave. Okay, so let's start. And see how the code works. Uh, and of course, you will get the code with the reference paper and everything from the description uh, in the video. Okay. So here we can see the trenches. Here is the, here is the surface. And at the beginning, you have the uh, uh, low uh, temperature, which is just the, the, the room temperature. Okay, which is just uh, 73. Now, this uh, uh, scale will it change when I when I start when I start the simulation with the animation. It will will it change, telling you uh, the exact temperature at every point. Now, how we do this? We what we do is that we solve the 2D uh, differential equation of the heat transfer through this material. So you have the boundary conditions from the uh, temperature of the coil by applying the voltage and then you use the uh, heat equation okay to calculate the heat transfer through this material and then you combine this with the uh, dielectric model okay of this material here is here is you have the, the, the material and all the used one so let's let's see this one okay so this one here you have the experimental points of the dielectric constant with the temperature. Now we combine this with what we get from solving the 2D 
uh, heat equation to get the total capacitance of this uh, device. And from here, you can see the trench diameter. Of course, you can change this, and you can see this the effect of this. But I am here using the values in the reference paper. Okay, and here you can increase the depth and the micrometer scale. Uh, let's start and see what happens. Once you say start animation, okay, let's pause here. You can pause, you can resume, you can stop here. Now, what happens is that you can see. Okay, the temperature everywhere uh, in the in the area of the capacitor, and you can see the applied voltage. Now, what happens is that we increase the voltage from zero to one volt, which is uh, sufficient to get the maximum uh, capacitance. Okay. Then we change this by smaller steps, and we see. The temperature at each point, we use the model to get the capacitance and we sum, integrate all of this and we get the total capacitance. Now, from the model, you can see that at the beginning, actually, you have no change in the uh, dielectric constant, so you expect no change in the total capacitance. But then we will see that when you uh, get to this range, which is having a variable, by electric constant, you will start having a change in the total capacitance. Okay, and then we get this. So let's let's stop here, and then let's resume and and stop here. Okay, and let's start the animation from uh, the beginning. Okay, so here you can see that the temperature is spreading and increasing as we increase the applied voltage. Okay, and keeps changing, and you can see the scale changing of the temperature. Okay, uh, the maximum is still still below 100, so you can see that the total capacitance is still constant. Now, let's wait till we get something over the 100, and we start to changing. Okay, still constant, still we haven't got this, and we have reached it to about 4.6 volt. And you can see the dimensions of the device, of course. Okay, here you go, we have hit the 100, we are more now, and as we apply more voltage, you get a higher total capacitance. Now remember also that the dielectric uh, goes uh, to drop again, so we should see a drop again. In the total capacitance, okay. You can see that it's very sensitive to the applied voltage. Here you go. You have a drop again. Not yet. Okay. Yes. Now you have a, a drop in the total capacitance because the dielectric model. You can see that it drops. So let's remember the dielectric model. Here you go. Okay. So you can see that it, it drops again. Now. Uh, Let's see the the results. Okay. Okay. Here, yes, here it is. So this is the simulation result. So you can see now this is the capacitance, the total capacitance in microfarad uh, with respect to the voltage, and we have moved it from zero to one. And this is the voltage applied on the coil, of course. And you can see that at the first it is not affected, and only in the range from about 0.69 to like 0.9 of course you can get the accurate values for this using yes here you go so you can see uh, to about 0.94 uh, volt you get the maximum uh, capacitance now this is a very nice range you start from like you increase by like seven times in this range now as you increase higher you go down again in the in the capacitors uh, as expected so you keep actually yourself in this range the linear range to control the capacitors of course which can be used in, in many, many stuff uh, depending on the signal of the voltage which is like a very good device for for mems and uh, sensors okay you can uh, get the code from the description i hope you like this uh, uh, demonstration and of course you have the reference paper with it
and thank you for watching.